Hi, in this video we will show you how to register for your courses. Although you already wrote down the courses you want to attend in your learning agreement, it is not enough. You have to register for them online in the Masaryk University Information System. Things you need, your identification number and the primary password, which give you access to the web page, the course codes, which help you find them, and the learning agreement with the list of your courses. Open your browser and type down the name of the web page, which is is.muni.cz. When the page loads, you can make sure that the language setting is in English in the top right corner. Click on the button Login and enter your ID and the primary password. After you log in, the home page appears. The most important section is the student section, underneath the registration and enrollment section. Once you click on it, please make sure that the correct semester and year are selected in the top right corner. Here you can see whether the registration at your faculty has already started or not. If you click here, you can display the dates of other faculties. Here you can see today's date and the dates when the registration and enrollment periods at your and other faculties start. To see the faculties where the registration and the enrollment period have already started, click on the button Current Term. You will see the list of the faculties where you can now register and or enroll in your courses. To add the courses you have put in your learning agreement, click on the button Add Courses. If there is a faculty pre-selected, remove the selection by clicking on the cross here. Now prepare your learning agreement to have the courses and course codes you want to register for. Here, type down the course code. Once the course appears, the tick circle should be ticked automatically. If necessary, tick the circle. Repeat the procedure to add all the courses you want to register for. The number of selected courses you can see here. Click on the Add Selected Courses button. If you want to add more courses, you can easily click on the button Add Courses and repeat the process. After clicking on the Add Selected Courses, you will see a list of the courses you have just registered for. Based on the timeline, the courses may be divided into three categories, in preparation, registered, and enrolled. If any of the courses are listed as prepared for registration, it means the registration period has not started yet. To learn when the registration period starts, check the dates again. Once the registration period starts, click on the button, try to register or enroll in courses, and you will get registered. If the courses are listed as registered, it means that you are successfully registered for them. Yet sometimes you can see that some problems have occurred. Look at the warning announcements under the name of the courses. Here is the explanation. The registration period is followed by the enrollment period during which course registration is confirmed. Students with successful registrations, no warning announcements, are automatically enrolled by the system. If the student does not meet enrollment requirements, the student can ask the teacher of the course for enrollment in the course by using the ISMU. There are three reasons why automatic enrollment by the system is not possible. One, the course is offered to a study field other than yours. Two, not meeting the prerequisites or three, you cannot enroll in the courses since there are no more vacancies in it. This is completely normal. The issue can be solved by applying for enrollment exceptions. It is only possible to apply for enrollment exceptions during the enrollment period. You will learn how to do this in the video called How to Enroll in Courses and Seminar Groups. Since the enrollment period has not started yet when filming this video, there are no courses marked as enrolled. Once the enrollment period starts, the courses will be enrolled automatically if there are no problems. Or you will be asked to apply for an exception. Anyway, you'll be given further information on this in the video called How to Enroll in Courses and Seminar Groups. Well done, you're now registered for your courses. You can see the currently registered courses here. If there are any courses prepared for registration, do not forget to register for them when the registration period starts. If you want to add more courses, just repeat the whole process. If you made a mistake, do not worry, just click on the bin button and confirm it. In the case you did not find the courses you have been looking for, it is possible that you either entered the wrong code or the course is not offered in this term. To learn if the course is offered in this term or not, open the home page and type the course code in the search box. Here you can see that the course is not offered in this term. Therefore, look for another course that may suit you. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other videos about the information system as well.